damage that damage stack. Oh, uh oh. My teammate is cheating. Uh oh. He just got two v one and he died. Okay, we're gonna back up here a little bit and continue to fire. And remember, these weapons, similar to like the Pulsar and Magnetar, have these built-in lockdown mechanics on them. But we EMP them too with our whiteout drones. Okay, we're gonna actually go out with this Fenrir instead. Angus Fang? Angus Fang, is that his name? Angus Beef? Angus Beefaroni. Okay, wait, let's Three. fire. So we're gonna keep moving here. Jeez, our damage is really stacking up quick with our doubles and campfires. Uh-oh. Lockdown. Whoa. Okay, hit by that four little slice. Come on. You know what? Double kill nice here. We finished the kill. Whoa, we're getting five cap right now. What in the world? They just hit a five cap on us. Oh! Okay, I locked this guy down. I don't know if he's only just on the edge of the beacon circle. Okay, you know what? Let's try to push him out. Yes, can we push him out now? He's outside the circle. I'm trying to push him out. You're gonna see I'm gonna drop this invader like it's a titan every time. With that repair amplifier, it's ridiculous. Along with the let me jump to the harpy first. Lag is terrible. The game is almost unplayable. Drop this invader, I'm usually in it for the long haul. Amplifier saves you that my my healing ability or my drone saves me. Yo, they can't take me down. <laughs> they can't take me down. 
wish the weapons were better, but they can't take me down. The more damage they do to me, the more repairability I get. And then I heal great damage as well. They can't. Come on. Drop. <laughs> they can't do it. They can't take me. <laughs> they can't take me. They can't take me. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I know they're going to nerf this, and I hate it so much because the Invader has always been my favorite robot since the beginning. This is my baby account, but you see, we don't do we don't do much damage with it. But as far as its ability to win games, the Invader is a must-have. I I only care about winning games. I don't really care about. I'm usually in the top place, but I more so just want to be on the winning team. So sacrifices must be made, but. This invader is awesome, and has always been awesome. But with this new, with this new buff that it just got, increased durability, and then these repair amplifiers. Using three of these, but I need a mech. I need a turn. I need how much is this? We need to upgrade this thing. Forty million. You know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> but it'll be, it'll definitely be worth it. Cause these repair amplifiers, as you see, they make a big difference. I still don't have his. As long as I had this bot, I don't know why I don't have the um, legendary pilot, but they need a, a better legendary pilot for this invader. But I'm quite sure it's going to get a nerf. And I'm quite sure that I get reported like I'm hacking or something. But um, with the repair mechanic, look at the, look at the abilities. Increased durability, a, l a little increased speed, you know, foolhardy. That, that comes in handy whenever you're really about to die. You get an extra... Uh, Repair amplifier, uh, repair uh, module use. But um, yeah, I'm using the Hulk. We got no legendary pilot skills. It sucks, it really sucks. And I got the Arachnid, so it's got the um, it's got the good old increased durability, too, 10% more. So yo, this is awesome. They can't take. If I had better firepower, it would be all right. I'm working on some um, let's see what we're working on. The uh, Havocs. Yeah, the Havocs and Scatters. I've been working on those, trying to get these up, but they're like ridiculous. 32 mil, five days. It's ridiculous. Come on. I wanted to build a Scorpion too, but, you know, I might open up a slot for the Scorpion. The Fafnirs are pretty useless. They're pretty much giving away Fafnirs. I got to beg not to get a Fafnir now in a box or a super chest or the event boxes. All they give is Fafnir's and Orochis. And they nerfed them so they're pointless. Besides, the Orochi can still win beacons or whatever the case, but the Fafnir is useless. I'd rather have a Fenrir. And then, uh, yeah, good old Harpy. The Erebus. What people don't know about the Erebus, I got to show you a video for the Erebus, but Erebus Shieldbreaker is awesome. And then you need a shield breaker and you need a quantum sensor. So Typhon quantum, quantum radar. I'm going to build a, another Erebus though for quantum radar. This one right here. So I can um, take out those that, you know, everybody uses stealth and everybody has shields. You need a counter all the time. So if you counter, if you're going to counter something, it might as well be something that counters correct. So you could disable that ability that you need to counter. So... Put it on something that can do blackout. Counter, shield breaker. Helps a lot. Also, this uh, luchador. It's nothing but a, a giant invader. People uh, people think that they be making these lesser bots and they're just like old school or whatever the case. But what you guys got to acknowledge is that they, um, they take those old bots and they make a legendary league for them and put a Put them into Titan form, like this. Um, this Luchador is an invader. That's all it is. The same thing. And the yeah, Al Alming. Well, this Arthur is a uh, Lance a lot. If you're looking at it, uh, this Nodems would have to be uh, shit. Well, it's more like a Capri right now, but yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. The uh, the Al June. Is uh, um, Al Ming. The kid, who the freak knows what the kid is? It's, um, I don't know, Butch something. Leo. 
not a, maybe a Leo. Hmm, I don't know what to compare that to. And the mural myths, uh, I don't know, that's like algae too. It goes to stealth. Hmm. But yeah, good times. Luchador, Zender weapons, cataclysm for the, um, the little things that run around. When the little things that run around, you got to have quantum sensor. And I want to be able to do damage to Titans, so Cannibal Reactor. We're just going over some extra stuff, man. Let me get up out of here. You already seen the gameplay. The, the freaking invader is a beast. He's a god. And we're going we're gonna to play one more. One more just because you never know what kind of uh, games I'll run into. But I'll be having amazing games with the invader. Jump out there and get some beacons real quick. There's a care preview. I want to stick with that guy. I notice nobody's going for this beacon. And like I said, I want to win games. I don't really care much about um, having the damage. But if you if you focus on winning games, you'll be more prone to plays first. Because you do the things that matter, and those honor points also add up in the score to get you in first place. You get honor points by actually doing things to win games. So keep that in mind. Also, as you see, whenever you first start, I um, look around to see who I'm playing with. I've seen a, um, a Capri, I've seen a, a Ares. He's down there. Everybody's good, so I'm not going to use my ability right now pretty fast so I can help out more like this. I seen that nobody's going to this beacon over here. Now they coming. We got a shell. We're gonna avoid all this. Wait for him to drop. Okay, that's not great. That's not great. Somebody came to help. Somebody came to help. Let's help from afar. Go this Arabis out here. Let's see what's going on. Let's go. I wanted something that could offer that guy, that guy some immediate support. And I know I couldn't get over there in time. If anything else, I would have had to drop and had to get over there. Also, I like using this um, cyclone like this because I can shoot at one target. I can shoot at two targets at the same time, pretty much. As long as they're on level field, and I'll be able to show you that in one of these bat battles. But um, it works amazingly. So slow. Lag. The last stand saved me a little bit, but here we go. I'm gonna drop a Titan. Four hundred and twenty six thousand HP, but with that repair amplifier, it's literally like uh, uh, over a million. Because if it drops below half at any time, it'll just recharge immediately. At least three times, and the quicker they apply damage, the more it'll, it'll build up. But it has a cooldown, so I gotta I gotta protect myself. But by that time, my ability should be back, and I can um. You know, protect myself by some time so that it can um, be suppressed and it'll cut the damage down and then um, it'll hit, him, hit me again and the damage will go back up and the repair of the fire will kick in again just rinse and repeat that's the worst thing whenever you get locked down because you can't you can't play them the way you need to even these um, these devastator and havoc weapons don't phase me much We haven't used our ability yet because we're not in a good range to actually make it count. So, do what we can to do. You haven't even seen me here yet. Team. I 
didn't need to hit that repair, but I, I knew he was going to do some blackout or whatever the case, so I needed to protect myself while I could. With that full hardy, my um, module came back to repair myself. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and use that repair. Let more people get closer to me. You see how the repair amplifier just kicked in? <laughs> And, and and took and saved my great health. But I already used my um, my heal, so that's not great. This is not great. <laughs> I already used that heal because it's kind of hard to judge when it's going to kick in. I gotta watch. You gotta watch the stacks on the side. But yeah, that's pretty pretty dope, man. That's the invader. Yeah, he, uh, works pretty awesomely when you get to play him the right way. If you play him right like I did the first time, he'll he'll live forever. Let's try that again. Lose health that we don't need. Lose. Beacon bars are pretty close together. This guy's gonna go into stealth in a second. Let's get close. I like you can curve the luchador a little bit in the sky. It's always tight. jump they fucked me up all right it's our last last robot here man it's clutch robot the typing always saves the day the quantum radar whiteout drone with the extra emp so even if i miss them if it's close enough they'll still get emp that's for like because that's our that's our worst fear is whenever somebody jumps on us the Arabis and the typhon they're weak whenever somebody jumps on you the thing, thing is, if you're playing in lower league, guys, you know, just um, play smart. Set your robots up to um, benefit what you got. Like, if you got weak weapons, pair the, if you got low amount of weapons and they're weaker weapons, but they're good weapons if they were stronger, pair them together like you can put the hail with the incinerator, knowing that the incinerator takes a little time to build up to make that damage count. And then you know that the by the time that the hell or the scotty weapons actually hits them with the freeze effect, it'll increase the damage that they take. So you can make that um oh man. Auto targeting system is terrible still. But um you can make it count. You can make it count substantially. So you know play like that. And knowing that um that these scorpions and uh, revenants jump on you. If you're in a typhon and stuff, you got a shield. That was a waste of black out. I'm trying to play smart because this is my last bot and I do want to help win the game. Oh my god, he's going to burn me up. Oh, he's got anti control. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, good stuff. But um, yeah, man, it's, it's it's dope. This video is a little longer than expected. You know, hopefully you're seeing some stuff. Hopefully you're learning some stuff. I'm trying to give you guys keys if you're playing, because every a lot of times you see these stronger players and you're like, man, shoot, I want to be there, but how are they getting these kills and this and that? They know how to play. So if you know how to play from the beginning, you'll do great. So I'm just trying to show you guys the keys so you can get in the habit of setting up your robots in the uh, best way where it's beneficial. So by the time you get more invested and you um, have a lot more stronger weapons and stronger robots, you know how to actually set them up accordingly. Right, we'll go to the, uh, you know, the good old pilots. There's a certain way to set your pilots up. There's a certain way to set your drones up so they work good with your robot and its abilities and your pilot and their abilities. You know, but yeah, guys, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoy what you're seeing. The invader is a beast. Hopefully everybody doesn't start running them. People don't run them. I'm not quite sure why. I know the, the firepower, like I said, is terrible, but um, it's awesome. You know, we did terrible. I talked through the whole thing, and I'm not used to that, but yeah. Yeah, look how terrible we did. Oh, man, I wish I had another game. That was god-awful. 
That's what people do to me. They got to report me. I'm like, yo, man, this guy didn't die, and he did terrible damage. Oh, my goodness. This is what I'm talking about, the honor points here. Um, everything that you do um, contributes. So what I didn't do was come out on top, repair any allies, destroy enemy robots. We didn't win. I didn't repair a portion of a Titan's ability. I don't think I have any repair um, robots besides, well, on the, on the field, besides the, um, the uh, mothership. This thing is 20 minutes long. Let me get up out of here. But yeah, I used the Mantis battleship for um, repair and stuff. It helps. And you also probably noticed that I only have four spots. I never unlocked this um, fourth slot, mainly because it costs 5000 to unlock, and I forgot all about that. This is my baby account, but um, I think it's I think it's better, man. Look, you see, I only got one. I got one one thing, one hanger. But um, yeah, I f I feel like you play better. Um, being in the habit of only having four robots. If I had another fifth robot, it would count. Of course, my last game was a terrible game. I think both games was not ter not great, but um, I usually have awesome games. And these robots are not the strongest, but um, how I get to play them, they play awesome. And yeah, good times. Get you in the habit of not being um, so wasteful. A lot of people just go in there and just throw a robot out there, throw a robot out there, throw a robot out there, and they all die. All my can count, I can stay in the robot for the whole game if I want to. Well, not if I want to, but if everything goes right, I can stay in the robot for a long time. They're all beneficial. The Harpy needs a little better control because the, the hell and the um, incinerator weapons, they work great when they're working. But without a lockdown system, I think lockdown will work better than quantum radar. But quantum radar, like I said, a lot of people are on, in the Rochis. So this Harpy can stop an Orochi from going to... Matter of fact, I'm doing too much. I'm telling you about too many robots. I appreciate you watching. This is about the Invader. He's awesome. Let's get back to him. The Invader. It's got the lockdown. <laughs> it's got the vortex. So as soon as the lockdown, that vortex can hit them up. And they'd be like, oh, shit. They think you're doing no damage. And then that vortex comes through and does, what, 35,000. Take out a, a third of a, a Rochi of one hit. But, um, yeah. Awesome. Appreciate you. Out of here.